The next modality is ultrasound, and we're all familiar with ultrasound, and have, as we have used it for years and years, um, and we've all learned about it in physical therapy school and athletic training programs and universities and so forth. Um, the ultrasound that I like to show you today is a little bit different, to say the least. It's not the usual sound head that you use a coupling gel or some median to, um, you know, help lubricate the skin and help provide the sound waves going in. What this basically is, is a continuous ultrasound device. So this is the SAM unit, which looks like a TENS device, but has, a, has electrodes that you put on the skin, and it basically sits there, uh, and you would wear it for several hours, two to four hours. We have some individuals wearing it up to four hours a day, causing continuous ultrasound, but in a very low kind of threshold and intensity manner that the t tissues can tolerate. So what's the benefits, the physiologic effects of ultrasound? Well, similar to the other modalities that we talked about, uh, pain relief, stimulating a healing response, um, causing some circulatory and vasodilation, nitrous oxide production and release, very similar. The thermal effects are well documented, it d diminishes pain, increases blood flow, increases metabolism, can reduce muscle spasm, it's very good for collagen as reducing stiffness. The non-thermal effects are at the cellular membrane, alterations, changes in vascularity, alteration in inflammation, and promotes wound healing as well. This is a little graph comparing uh, the, the SAM unit, which is basically three megahertz, versus traditional ultrasound, which is one megahertz. And you can see with the uh, SAM device um, that with the longer duration as far as time and hours, you get out to three hours, look at the changes that are happening at the intramuscular temp temperature standpoint. With ultrasound, you get it, but you just don't sustain it. It's very short-lived, about a half an hour or so. With the SAM device, you can have it for two, three, four hours at a time. And so that's a very unique uh, situation. Several studies have been done at Cornell University, and that's who developed this particular device, has shown that the, the SAM unit um, is affected at decreasing muscle spasms, uh, helps decrease um, pain, but also is very uh, beneficial as far as wearing it uh, for tendon problems, whether it be a tendinopathy of the rotator cuff or patellar tendon or so forth. What we're going to use it on in the clinic is a person that has a calf strain, and we're going to use the, the modality as well. Several pilot studies have been used uh, using the continuous ultrasound with very encouraging benefits. So again, what I'd like to do is, is go out to uh, our physical therapy clinic, and we have multiple patients out there that we're going to apply these modalities to and see what, uh, how it works for them and see what their feedback is. So let's head out there and put the continuous ultrasound on. Ultrasound's been around since the beginning of physical therapy, but usually a sound head is used where you go over the tissue, use a, a coupling or median gel. This particular ultrasound is continuous, and it's used over a period of time, like two, three, four hours. Uh, most of the studies have been done on ultrasound have focused on intervention of about four or five minutes with a sound head, looking at how, how deep the, uh, the sound waves are going, what's happening to the tissue, cell permeability, and so forth. This new device by SAM, uh, that's the name of this particular device, is, as I mentioned before, is continuous ultrasound um, at a dosage that's able to be worn for those couple hours. And what's been shown by some independent studies as well as studies by the company is the cell's permeability is significantly affected by the duration of the ultrasound. So this is a super easy type of uh, treatment intervention. We basically, um, the, the ultrasound head itself is this with the gel and that's the coupling median if you will and the ultrasound device is snapped into this and now it's now it's on and uh, this is the actual device almost looks like a tens unit so now the ultrasound electrode if you will is here we just need to peel off the adhesive component 
We've got some nice coupling gel all over this, so it's going to work really well. And more, the spot is right there. So I'm going to, you know, through palpation, and plus I've been treating him now for a little bit with this problem, so I'm going to try to isolate as best I can, put the pad right on that spot. As we talked about. And then uh, basically just turn the device on. So as it's activated, what he may feel is a little bit of warmth, uh, light sensation of heating, so forth. He just kind of stick this in his pocket. And you've been using this at home some, right? Yes. Using it for what, about two, three hours a day? Usually sleeping or? Sleeping, watching TV. So watching TV, more, you know, a kind of a passive state. And one of the reasons why we're doing this is um, one of the complaints that he's having is it stiffens up on him that um, when there's inactivity his calf gets tight it loses flexibility or pliability if you will and this is a nice treatment adjunct if you will after he gets done in the clinic so you know we're treating with everything else we're stretching we're doing strengthening we're doing ballistic movements soft tissue work he leaves here uh, we're able to put a SAM device on and we tell him to wear that during the course of the day again trying to alleviate some of the stiffness, but also trying to uh, produce this healing response, as I mentioned before, by changing the cell's permeability, getting a healing response at the cellular level, hopefully laying collagen down. Are you feeling anything now, Morris? Just a little warm. Just a little warm. If he feels hot, there may not be enough coupling gel, which uh, is usually not the case. Usually there's quite a bit of coupling gel on each one of these. Um, it used to be as if it would vibrate or something like that, it means it's hot. It needs to be terminated, but we haven't had any problems like that at all. We use this type of ultrasound device for a variety of uh, treatment interventions from muscle pulls, muscle uh, uh, strains, if you will, to even ligamentous sprains such as MCLs, ankle sprains. You can use it for plantar fasciitis, although it's a little hard to walk around. You'd have to be in a non-weight bearing type of manner. Works great for rotator cuff problems bicep pain in particular for chronic bicep pain. Um, the other nice thing about this is it's an extension of the actual uh, treatment intervention by the therapist, athletic trainer. So now they can just take this home and the things that are being done in the therapy clinic can now be done at home at least with the ultrasound device. So doctor's prescription, uh, this is a, a, a nice home device as well, but we also use it in the clinic at the end of the treatment.